One of the best things about Animal Crossing New Horizons is all the fun activities and events that Nintendo continually provides. Every third Saturday of the summer months, Flick will be hosting a bug off event where you can win prizes and unlock valuables. However, it's at no easy pace. In this video, I'm going to show you all about the bug off event, show you what's available to unlock, and how you can win the gold trophy in the easiest way possible, and we're getting started right now. On every third Saturday of the summer months, there will be a bug off event held by the infamous Flick. He will come to your island and set up shop in front of your resident services building, and the event lasts from 9am to 6pm. Here's a quick visual guide of the months the bug off event will occur. Do take a look at the hemispheres because southern hemisphere players will not get this event until November. To begin, you simply need to speak with Flick to learn all about how the bug off works. Then you'll have three minutes to catch as many bugs as possible. You can participate as many times as you want. The first attempt is free, but you'll need to pay 500 bells for any attempt afterwards. All bugs you catch will automatically be transported to Flick's bug cage once they're caught. At this point, you can choose to sell all of your bugs to Flick at the typical 1.5 times their normal sell value, or you can choose to keep them for yourself. However, you do have to clear them all out of Flick's cage before starting the new bug off round. For each bug that you catch, you'll earn one point. So of course, if you had two bugs, then you'd have two points. However, for every third bug, you earn two bonus points. So for example, once you catch the third bug, you'll have five total points. That's three points for three bugs, and then two bonus points. The points do have an impact on your trophy and what items you can unlock. More on that in just a second. So here's some quick tips for the bug off event. First off, you're going to want to craft or buy extra bug nets. Since the bug nets decline in durability as you use them, they will end up breaking, so be sure you have some spares on hand. It's all about the quantity and not the quality of the bug as it was in former Animal Crossing games. So go to areas or even set up an area where more bugs are likely to spawn. Bugs tend to gather around flowers and some bugs gather on tree stumps. Also don't forget about putting out some tin cans, maybe a boot, and a rubber tire for a possible chance that flies will spawn. Try to target bugs that are really easy to catch. In other words, don't go after the dragonflies if you have a common butterfly hovering around you. Here's a complete game changer with this entire event. You can actually invite friends to your island to help catch bugs and all of your points will accumulate and can be used to gain trophies and unlock the items. So all the points that are earned across all players are shared during the bug off event and each player can earn different swag individually. So having another friend over to help rewards 5 extra bonus points on top of the 2 extra bonus points for every third bug. So as you can imagine, this really adds up fairly quickly. Players participating on a friend's island will also receive twice as many points. Not everyone has time to catch bugs for several hours straight. If you find yourself running out of time while accumulating these points, you simply just turn the clock back a few hours to extend your time for the bug off event, but just keep in mind that if you slip into another day, you will lose all of your points. And if you're not a time traveler and you still want to get your trophies, no worries because Flick will save any of the player's unspent points for future bug off days. Now for the trophies, you can save your points and you can win a bronze, silver, or gold trophy. As you accumulate the points for each bug off attempt, Flick will keep track of your point total and award you with a trophy that comes in the mail the next day. For the bronze trophy, it's 100 points. For the silver, it's 200, and for gold, it's 300. Based on my estimation, it's probably going to take a player about one hour to accumulate 100 points or so. So you can imagine that it would take about three hours of solid gameplay to win the gold trophy. Especially if you're playing by yourself. If you have friends over on your island, then you can likely cut that time in half. Now for the next part, it is a bit of a spoiler alert, but that's why you're here, right? <laughs> you want to know if the items are worth participating in the event for. So I'm here to tell you, I think you'll find a few items that are worth trying this event for. The cumulative total amount of points can be exchanged at any time with Flick. As long as you have a total of 10 points, you can exchange them for a random prize. The prizes include various items, clothing, wallpapers, and rugs. He should give you a different prize each time until you have received all of the items, but then you'll start to get duplicate items from Flick. 
There are a total of 13 items that you can receive, which totals about 130 points, and these items are as follows. Artisanal bug cage, butterfly backpack, spider door plate, the spider web, bug aloha shirt, the butterfly wallpaper, the termite mound, the bug cage, the ladybug rug, the toy centipede, the bug wand, ladybug umbrella, and the toy cockroach. The bug off event does seem to have some items worth going after. There are several items that would be great for an upcoming Halloween setup or to make a cool little spooky display setup somewhere on your island. Based on my estimations, it seems like it's going to take about three hours to collect the gold trophy and then about one hour for getting the unlockable items from Flick. With friends participating, it can shorten your time spent by probably two or three times over. And with all the bonus points that each player gets for helping, this event is definitely a group structured event to maximize the rewards. Take a look at one of my other how-to videos on the screen. I've got a whole playlist dedicated for kicking out villagers, and if you enjoyed this video then please give it a like. Also if you're new here, please consider subscribing for more Animal Crossing content.